All right. So for all of you, um, we could, let's start with Karen. Um, what can you tease a little bit about the season? Ooh, what can I tease about this season? You'll, you'll find a lot of uh, self-discovery for Kimiko. Um, lots of uh, looking within, um, facing the mirror and uh, figuring out what she wants to do with her life. Um, but for the entirety of the boys, I think it's a, re it's a season about um, how far someone's willing to go in order to uh, get what they want. Um, a lot of moral dilemmas, I mm -hmm. would say. Um, yeah, anyone else? And Carl? Um, what I would tease about this season, I think it, I think season three of the boys is probably the most dynamic season yet. Um, you know, we incorporated a beautiful dance number. Uh, there is animation. Uh, I think that um, everything is dialed up. The action, the set pieces, the special effects. But more importantly than all of that, I think that um, the season uh, has great heart. And I think that for audiences who enjoy spending time with these characters, they will feel rewarded because um, this season uh, takes these characters uh, and really pushes them to the most extreme limits of um, endurance. And uh, it's a hell of a ride. Buckle up. And Jack, to you? Oh, man. Oh, what can you tease? I'm trying to think of what hasn't been said. Uh... Let's go with, yeah, whatever. This is probably what Carl said, but I'm just going to say stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tease the giant dick. Um, I think this season of The Boys is our most insane yet. I don't think I... I don't think a season has gone by so far where I, I I think I looked at every script kind of through my fingers. <laughs> I was just a little bit afraid of what I would see. Um, but then once I did see it, uh, it was so crazy and so insane, and I'm just really excited for boys fans to to see it. I, I, I really, really am. It's just bonkers. All right. Um, Karen, back to you. Um, without spoilers, who do you think has the craziest scene this year? Ooh, without spoilers? Without spoilers. That's what they're asking, without spoilers. Without spoilers. Uh, let's see. I think the craziest scene happens in the first episode of uh, of season three, and it happens to um, my dear my dear friend Frenchie, <laughs> or happens to another character, but he witnesses it. So he's yes. around. He's around. He's, he's around. around. He's around the corner. <laughs> And Carl, do you have a craziest scene? Yeah, I think the craziest scene uh, is probably an allergy attack that happens in the first episode. Uh, it happens to be the same oh, scene same that scene. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Karen was talking about. And uh, let's say it'll go down in the history of television as the worst attack of hay fever ever. Mm -hmm. And Jack? Uh, for me, I don't know if I'd necessarily say it's like the craziest, but to me, the most memorable, uh, it's a scene involving Karen. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. You definitely, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. So Jack, let's start with you this time. Um, how do the characters' dynamics between the soups and the boys change this season? Ooh, um, well, you definitely see a lot more uh, combinations of them than, than you typically would. Uh, what I really like about this season is that there's a lot of scenes with two characters where I'm like, I never thought they'd be in the same room. Um, so that was really, really interesting. Uh, what I love about the season as well is the fact that the boys are trying to up their game and they're trying to uh, level the playing field. And, you know, it's, it's a season where anything can happen because, you know, as you see from the trailer, Butcher is taking uh, Compound V and it makes it so, you know, we, we all, we're not just resorting to blackmail anymore. We're not just resorting to um, uh, trying to go after their reputations. We can actually fight them on their own turf a little bit more. So I think that that's a really interesting dynamic that this season plays with. And Carl? How do you feel the characters' dynamics between the Supes and the boys change this season? 
I find that the the character dynamics between the soups and the boys gets shaken up in a in a really fun way this season. Um, uh, the choice that is presented to all of the characters really is 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 a moral choice. Uh, in 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 Butcher, it manifests itself in the decision to to take um, Temp V, and and because he does that, he has to deal with the ramifications. But not only does Butcher have to deal with that, everybody does, and everybody has to ostensibly decide which side they're on this season it's it's heading to uh a war situation and then there are some unlikely alliances that get formed and um and some long-term uh friendships that uh that get shattered and um it's it's an exciting dynamic roller coaster ride that is leads to unexpected places and karen for you yeah, I think this season uh, we discover that a lot of the characters that we thought were on opposite ends of the spectrum are actually pretty similar. Um, and that creates a very big moral dilemma within uh, a lot of the characters. And I think that's what's great about our show. It's, uh, you know, nobody is a cookie cutter good guy. Um, everyone has their faults and uh, they're struggling with it and it's um, this season is about what uh, one person does with the power that they attain whether it's a superpower or uh, influence or anything like that okay so Carl starting with you what makes working on this show so much fun uh, what makes working on the show so much fun is um, just getting to uh, hang out with these guys and these guys are you know just the best co-workers that you could possibly have I mean we genuinely have a great time shooting this show and not just on set off set uh, I really feel like we've bonded and become a family and and I just feel so grateful to Kripke and for, for putting us all together and and we're having the time of our lives shooting this show it's like a show unlike anything else i've ever seen or anybody else has ever seen and um you know i just think that uh, we all feel so blessed to uh to be in it and uh to have each other in, in our lives karen how about you yeah i completely agree with everything carl just said i the best part of working on this show is absolutely uh working with everyone here um it, it's it's amazing. I mean, it, you know, a lot of times as an actor, you, uh, you know, you shoot a movie or shoot, uh, shoot something for a few months and then you don't get to see those people uh, again. And uh, luckily for our show, we've had three seasons to cultivate a friendship and um, it, it's been so much fun. Uh, and I, I feel like we've cultivated a lifelong friendship. So, um, yeah, the best part is, uh, is everyone here, the people we get to work with. Jack, to you? Uh, I, I, I have to say the same thing. I definitely agree. I mean, I think that it's so crazy that every season I don't think that we can possibly get any closer, and yet somehow we're always able to uh, exceed that. I mean, this season was by far my favorite to shoot, and that's just because of how, how, how set we are in this show and how close we are, and that bond just keeps getting deeper and deeper every season and I'm, I just find myself so thankful that not only is the show doing well and a success so there, therefore we keep getting to make other seasons but I get to like genuinely look forward to seeing the people that I make the show with. Um, everyone is just such a class act and so talented and amazing and hilarious. It's just, it, it makes it just a pure joy which doesn't always happen so we're, I'm very lucky. COVID quarantine would have been very different. Yes, it <laughs> so would have been very different if we were waiting to yes. go to a show that yeah. we hated working yeah. on. <laughs> yes. yes. And for the last question, I'm going to throw this out. Whoever wants to go first, they want you in one sentence to describe herogasm. I wasn't there. I'll let you guys take it. <laughs> That's your sentence? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, I would say in your face. <laughs> That's a good one. Right? Uh, yeah, good one. I know the face too. I yeah, know the you face. know the yeah, face. We've seen it. Um, I, I don't know how I'm going to top that. I would say um, 
avert your gaze, I guess. <laughs> That's my advice going in. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's just the... <laughs> Ah, oh, God. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs>